if I'm not mistaken, that was a white woman, right? A white woman telling a black woman which of our hairstyles are elegant and not elegant. When y'all, you know what? Shut up. <laughs> Oh, so fabulous. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel once again. It's your girl Dumi Bilia. If this is your first time coming across my channel, you're welcome. I do hope you decide to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, you guys know that I love you. It's so good to have you here. Welcome back. So my usual disclaimer, this video is strictly for educational purposes. Please do not go searching out the people that I talk about in this video. Don't send them any form of hate hate comment threat or violence this channel does not support any of that so i came across this video of this woman i think she's kind of like an etiquette or feminist coach or one of those things you know that teach women how to be more elegant more feminine how to present themselves comport themselves be more fashionable stuff like that that's what she does on her tiktok page right but she went viral and black people have been on her case for making this particular video elegant not elegant. Elegant. Not elegant. Elegant. Not elegant. Elegant. Not elegant. Elegant. Not elegant. See you guys. <laughs> the video has actually been taken down. And before I talk about what I think, let me just go right ahead and play some responses and stitches to that video. Not elegant. Did you know that one in two black girls will experience hair discrimination before the age of 10? Did you know that 66% of black women have altered their hair just to allegedly fit into more professional settings? For whatever reason, black hair continues to be a political subject. So much so that we have to create laws now to eliminate hair discrimination. And here you come with your video playing into those stereotypes that says black hair is unkempt, tacky, unprofessional or as you say, not elegant. Also notice the styles that she picked as not elegant. Two of them in particular, the Afro puffs and the Bantu knot are cultural styles. So what is she saying about black culture when she thinks two of the three of our styles aren't elegant? Like we care though. Elegant. What the hell are you driving down that you think this is your lane? I need some of y'all to go get your girl. No. Not elegant. Elegant. Can black people just have one day where y'all leave us the hell alone? For real, like can we just have 24 hours where we're allowed to just exist without having to deal with some ignorant bullshit from y'all? And of course you turn the comments off because that's what y'all do. Accountability? Pfft. No way. Y'all don't even know what that word means. This is exactly why Sometimes it really feels like we ain't never gonna be free. I see that your video is no longer up. I don't know if you took it down or it got removed, but either way, you owe the black community an apology expeditiously. You said in your comment section that you would not be apologizing because you were trying to be inclusive. I don't know, maybe our definitions of inclusivity are different because when I'm trying to be inclusive, I don't perpetuate harm to the community I'm trying to include. Either you are completely ignorant to the ways in which black people and black women specifically have historically been and continue to be policed for their natural hair, or you are aware and you made the video anyways. So which is it? Every hairstyle that you showed in your video was beautiful. Since when are Bantu knots not elegant? Styled puffs can't be elegant. Also, who are you to decide what elegant is, especially when it comes to black hair? You are so far out of your lane. Please take the exit. Every single style that you show not only requires a great amount of skill and time, sometimes hours to execute, but is also a hell of a lot more intricate and elegant than that low ponytail that you're sporting. Not to mention that those hairstyles are not just a way for black people to express themselves, but are literal protective hairstyles to protect their hair from breakage because they have a different texture than you and I. In the year 2023, black women are still discriminated against for how their hair naturally 
naturally grows out of their head, but us white women can spend 30 seconds throwing a messy bun on top of our head, and that is considered corporate job approved. Your video perpetuates that black hair is unkempt, is not elegant, and you flippantly spread it to your 317,000 followers. Listen to the black women who are calling you out. Take accountability, issue an apology, and learn and grow from this. Your intent may have not been to cause harm, but your impact very much did. Be better. Elegance. I'm gonna say this. Cause I read in the comments that you said that someone asked you to include black hair. Number one, we typically, naturally, as black women, we typically do not go outside of our community asking about our hair and what you think of it. Because number one, we already know how you feel a lot of times. And when I say you, society in general, because our hair is not the standard of beauty. We are still fighting, i.e. the crown acts and I be discriminated against with our hair in the workplace professional settings so i'm gonna call bs on that one number two even if somebody did ask you a black woman did ask you to include black hair why would you not include her in the video and send her the video and say hey do you think this be okay would this be insensitive or do you think that i shouldn't have done this or i shouldn't have done that or or have her do the video have her come across your page and say okay this might be a cute style for this and this may be a cute style for that but you don't get to determine what's elegant and not elegant for us if i want to go to a ball with a full-on afro in my head that's elegant for me why are we always coming up in conversations when when we should be coming up in conversations how we wear our hair how we choose to dress how we choose to express ourselves why is that always on the chopping block and this is coming from somebody who's been doing hair for 20 years and i also coach hairstylists how to be successful behind the chair okay i don't get this this video was not it and the conversation should have been had we are still in 2023 we can't just be and don't tell me that i'm taking this too serious because i'm not if you're not a black woman who's been discriminated against because of her hair or told her hair was nappy or told that she like it's just a whole lot of stuff this was not a good look not a good take whoever that woman was that told you that which i'm still just like that 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 don't that is giving no it's giving no because like i said before we don't go to non-black spaces and ask is this okay oh can you give can you give me your opinion on this when it comes to our hair no no never in the history of black women black women have we no ma'am elegance this is why we talk about white people not being allowed to wear black hairstyles number one it's not made for your hair number two you all police black hair and tell us that it's unkempt and dirty and not elegant just to steal those hairstyles for yourself not elegant first of all why are you in black people's business second of all why did you feel like it was okay to post a video like this when it's a chain on of your business i mean who are you really to tell me was elegant and was not elegant as a white woman. Excuse me. Delete this video. Elegant. Obviously, the black girls are eating her for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but I am making this so it reaches more non-black people. I think it's so important to understand that what we consider feminine or elegant or rich looking is firmly entrenched in white supremacy. Like, I'm not sure whether she's a person of color or not, but that doesn't change the fact that this is very anti-black. Like, something that's really common when it comes to white supremacy and aesthetics is that people try to confer themselves authority over other people using formal or informal qualifications. Like, in her bio, she says she graduated from a finishing school and now she's an etiquette coach. But neither of those things mean she's an expert or authority in black hair. She's also very into the idea of old money, when in reality, uh, most old money either comes from the transatlantic slave trade, um, colonialism, or some mixture of both. So you guys can see that black people are not happy about it. 
and um i found out that she's european because she was actually in the comment section when she was being called out in the comment section of her video you know she was replying comments and people were making videos in response to her comments as well so let me play some of the videos that people made responding to comments that she put in the comment section of that original video so this comment reads i won't include any women of color in my content again and if they ask why i'll refer them to your comments my comment being don't you ever speak on black women's hair ever again meaning that homegirl wants to not be accountable for herself and then tell black women i'm the reason she's not making videos with them in them anymore not because she made a video where her intent was just to show what was elegant and what was not elegant but her impact was racist so instead of telling black women and women of color that you made a mistake that you weren't willing to be accountable for you instead just going to refer them to my comments well at least you're being honest for anyone who missed it this woman tried to be inclusive by essentially policing black women's hairstyles and you know, she could have taken this opportunity to like learn something, apologize, all that good stuff. Um, instead, she just doubled down on the race. And you know, we love a self-aware girly. <laughs> the ego is a hell of a drug, huh? <laughs> just... You missed the whole entire comment statement there. They just basically said, don't talk about black women's hair or black people's hair in general. And you ended up making this whole situation even worse than what it already was. You said, I'm not a racist. I've never been racist. Have you tried not being so traumatized and overreactive? Dude, you are so ignorant and out of tune with what's going on in society, the whole world. And then in another comment, you're like, oh, I'm European. So I understand why Americans are reacting like this, dude the race the systemic racism that we have in america they are your ancestors they are your people that came over here and killed the native indigenous people of the americas let's not forget south america too the only difference is you're not sleeping with your cousin uncle oh my unseasoned sister i understand that we are the best at using our white supremacy tactics but let's not forget where we came from our clan fam pride right from you sweet pumpkin we appreciate you for all the lessons you gave but the way you're still teaching i mean the way you're holding it down strong like i couldn't have been racist i could not have been because i'm from europe i mean yeah i benefit from white supremacy every single day but to apologize for it never pumpkin you hold the crown still well, no to go about what i think because I watched that video several times and I also went to her page and I saw some other videos of the example she gives of elegant, not elegant, classy, not classy. I didn't see a pattern of her dissing black women. I didn't see a pattern of her, you know, using black women's pictures as the non-elegant part predominantly. You know, like even in that particular hair video now, that is the original video we are talking about today there were examples of other hairstyles that she said were elegant there were also black women's hair so i don't think it's it was coming from a place of prejudice against black hair or black women but then she being an european probably does not know the history of black hair in america for black people i'm guessing if it was an american white woman I might have been a little bit less lenient in the way i'm talking about it now i might have been a little more like i mean like you're american you should know better hi guys this is me dropping by during editing i realized that my thought process kind of drifted off so i'm just here to say what i should have said in the video so i understood especially after going through her other videos that she probably didn't make that video from a place of prejudice against black hair as i said but where her ray to the season started showing was from the kind of comment she was leaving responding to black women talking about how she's going to stop including them in her videos and talking about how they are traumatized and stuff like that that definitely made her sound ray to the cyst and this 
this is where we draw the line first of all let's say if we decided to let it go because maybe you were ignorant you're european you don't know the history of black hair in america and you made a mistake by policing black hair it was not intended to harm black women in any way when people were telling you in the comment section wouldn't the proper thing and the elegant thing in quotes have been to apologize to black women and use that as a learning moment to know about black hair and what black people have been through as regards their hair in america so I do not agree with the way she handled it. So this is where her rate to the season was definitely showing. Because if it was an honest mistake, she wouldn't have handled it this way. I think where she actually messed up was when, you know, people were calling her out. Where she could have actually just made a simple, you know, apology. She was leaving comments. And, you know, she was trying to excuse it. Like, I think she was feeling too proud or defensive to apologize. So this was her apology. Please pause to read. So that apology video, she didn't even come and sit in front of a camera and speak. She just did that whole write-up. I think people felt it wasn't really a real apology. It was dismissive. It was performative. And I understand why they see it that way. Ma'am, you're not sorry. You're just embarrassed. And you're embarrassing. You were perfectly fine saying that BS with your chest into the camera. And you put your whole face behind it too. And now you're hiding behind text and a weak ass apology, like the coward that you are. You spent days antagonizing black women in the comment section. Days. And those that observe that understand that this apology is superficial at best and antagonization at worst. And do you know what puts the petty nail in this goddamn coffin? Those weren't even Bantu knots. You couldn't even be bothered with a basic cursory Google search. Your claim to desire to be inclusive and further educated about women of color is disingenuous. Go sit down. Vote better too. And see, but you're actually not sorry. I know you're not sorry because one, you didn't even give us a real apology. You, you typed some shit out. Thank you for educating me, bitch. You're not educated. You've never been educated. And let's be completely honest that by looking at your page, you make a living off of trashing other women's creative and stylistic choices. Your entire page is based off of what is elegant and what is not, but man, by looking at you and the things that you post, I can tell you right now that you're not elegant, you are basic and know the difference. You called lash extensions, not elegant. You called long nails, not elegant. You said that white manicured French tip nails are more elegant than any type of long nail or nail with color on it. Ma'am, you gave us a full three-piece suit to wear to a club. What are you doing in a club, ma'am? We're not here to meet Princess Diana. We're there to shake our ass. Your page has no originality. Your page is lackluster at best. You are posting basic and boring styles that are outdated and acting as if they are going to make some type of comeback as if all women in order to be elegant need to be wearing bullshit like this. So no, your comments on black women's hair honestly doesn't even bother me because that is exactly what I would expect out of somebody like you. Somebody who thinks that elegance can literally only exist in white spaces and with white Eurocentric features and white Eurocentric clothing. And last but not least, spelling apologize wrong is not elegant. Do better. You put about as much time and energy into this apology as you did into researching black women's hair and why the video that you made is so harmful. I don't even think you understand why it's so harmful and dangerous what you did. The rhetoric of there is a certain way that a black woman or a black man should look in order to be considered elegant is supremacy culture. This is what gets black people unalived in predominantly white spaces because white people think in their mind that black people should look a certain way in order to belong in white spaces. This is not okay. This is dangerous. And you just putting out an oops, I'm sorry, I didn't know is disingenuous at best. You really should make a formal apology. You should look into the Crown Act and look into the history of black men and black women and their hair in the United States. 
These things are incredibly important, especially when you're using black people as part of your content without understanding their culture and their heritage. This, again, very dangerous. I don't know if you'll ever be able to apologize enough and repair all of the damage done, but this apology is not it. You got to do more. You got to take accountability. Maybe explain to your followers why that video was so harmful after you've done the research. Explain to your followers why the Crown Act is so important and why they should be support supporting it after you've done the research. And then maybe move on from there. But this apology is... It is just egregious to see that this is the way that you're apologizing for something so dangerous and harmful. Hair is always a sensitive subject, especially when you look at it through the lens of an African-American because of everything that they've passed through with their hair. As an African, my hair has never held me back here in Africa. Maybe if I leave Africa, it will be a different thing. But here in Africa, my hair has never really held me back. Whichever way I decided to wear it, if I wear it in its natural state, if I put it in braids, if I put on a wig, you can see that I'm putting on a wig and it's actually straight hair. That is actually why even when I make some of the videos talking about, you know, why people putting their hair in bantu knots or in braids and all of that i try not to sound like a hypocrite where i'm trying to talk about oh why people don't put your hair in braids da, da, da. and that is because i know that i wear weaves i wear wigs straight hair right so in as much as hair is sensitive i am not too strict on policing hair especially the way black women should wear their hair i don't even know if i'm making sense at this point but i hope i've made sense if you if you get it you get it please you guys let me know what you think about it in the comment section don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well subscribe if you haven't and turn on notifications that way youtube will let you guys know whenever i have a new video up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye